Yes, guys, welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, once again. Uh, today, we're going to check out the uh, Retro Game 3.5 XS Plus. Yeah, that's right, the Plus version, guys. Uh, it's the highly anticipated version of the uh, older version, which is that one, the 3.5 XX. Uh, I'm running a, a personalized Batasiria um, firmware on this one, so you're probably wondering what's on there. But we'll take a look and compare it in a bit, guys. So let's go ahead. Uh, before I'm going to do the unbox, uh, I just re just literally got this through the door about 10 minutes ago, uh, delivered by FedEx. Just want to say a huge thanks to Wild Lee for sorting this out and to the Ambernick team, Maxu, uh, and the rest of the team. Thank you very much. There's too many names to mention. Uh, Sunny Peng uh, and uh, Fancy, you know, you're great. Uh, thank you very much for your help getting the devices and for your support. So that's out of the way. Uh, I just want to quickly check what we got on offer here, guys. Just before, I just want to explain to you because I find this a lot easier directly on their website. So you basically got the 3.5XX. Uh, and one thing I've noticed, it's still actually on a sale price, if you can see there, uh, $57.99. Uh, otherwise, it's going to go back up to 63.99, which it should have done by now. Uh, so if you haven't already, guys, I'll put a link in the uh, description and uh, now is a good time to buy uh, that's basically what you're going to get in the box we all know that and it comes in a few different colors so you got white 64 white uh, you can have 128 you got the gray versions in both as well and the black transparent guys um, and a quick lowdown on specs so it's got a 3.5 inch ips uh full viewing angle OCA laminated and the resolution on that is 640 by 480. Um, the CPU is coming out this time as a H700 quad core ARM Cortex, which is the A53 running at 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, it's got dual core and a G31 MP2 uh, GPU. LP DDR4 one gig. So you've got one gig of RAM guys, and then you got your dual trans flash cards uh, and it's running on linux now it might get garlic os as well like the first one so stay tuned for that if not it's already out uh wi-fi this time guys 5g in there you got 5g wi-fi you can see there with bluetooth uh supports up to 30 kinds of emulators uh, what else uh, 5 volt 1.5 5 amp battery uh, and it just specifies it so that's basically it guys that's the three colors there you can see there 3.5 inch that's the processor and the ram and it's got a vibration motor they're advertising and that's what we wanted to see it's a 3300 milliamp battery lasting the claiming eight hours which is pretty decent guys if it does um, and it's got a removable battery this time as you can see there I'm pretty sure you can remove the battery easy um, and that's the dimensions guys and you can plug it into your TV and use a wireless controller that's a very cool feature under the 5G Wi-Fi network uh, as you can see there how they're showing two players using 5G pretty cool uh, you can use Moonlighting to play PC games, so you could remote play games. And here, I'll just leave this product parameters. I'll just leave this here a sec, so you can take a good look at it. That is actual full rundown of the specs, guys. And that is it. So, if you haven't already, guys, I'd grab that, because they should have took that sale off by now. 57.99. So... That's out the way now. Let's get this review unboxing done, guys. So they kindly sent me a nice case as well. The usual Ambernic. Very nice case. We'll have a look at that in a sec. So let's get the unbox done, guys. So put that out the way. And as usual, you get the usual in the box. 
Now, before we do that, the box is the usual, guys. Um, just zoom in there. You, there's colors, white, transparent, black, and gray. The usual box. Uh, in the box, we're gonna have the wipes, the manual. There was a memory card in there, I've put it in already. And there's a screen protector, which I haven't put in yet, but uh, there is a screen protector, guys. So we'll go ahead and put that on in a bit. And this will be your USB cable, like usual. Uh, what you get in the box. I don't really want to rip it, probably. I think it's got a cellar tape on it. There you go. Doesn't matter. So your usual USB to type C, I believe. There you go. And put that out the way. Get all this out the way. And let's have a look at the device itself. So while we're doing that, let's just go ahead and power it up. Hopefully there's some battery power in here to power it up. There you go. And while it's powering up, guys, I just want to fit it in the case and show you guys how it fits in the case. Very nice fit indeed, you can see there. It's got the tag, Ambernic tag on there as well, which is really nice. Uh, and a strap, lanyard strap. So you got a compartment here. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I do like that case. Gonna need that, guys. Comparing it to the 35XX there. Uh, let's have a look. So you already know what the 35XX looks like. Uh, they actually sent me my favorite color as well off this. I was hoping I'd get the black transparent because I've got the uh, purple transparent here. So looking at the sides, guys, let's just do a quick comparison of the old one. Exactly the same, you can see, power button, everything's in the same place. Same thickness down the top, exactly the same again. Can you spot any difference there? I certainly can't. Uh, round the back. Can you see any difference? Apart from... See the old one doesn't have that removable cover for the battery. That's what I've noticed just there. Look, you can actually remove that battery pretty simply. So good on you, Ambronic. And I can see them shoulder buttons are slightly different. Can you see there? That's got a higher lift. These don't have any lift. And these are chamfered in an angle. These are not. So that's another difference, guys, we spotted there. So the back's doing it all on this. They've changed a bit on the back. So let's go down this side now which we've done already, down the top, we've done already. Uh, I think down the bottom now, exactly the same. Same dimensions, everything. Okay, I think that's it guys. Um, and this side, volume button. Slightly different in the volume button. You can see the old one, don't have that indent here, but. It's just plain straight, but this has an indent on it, the new one. So you can see that's slightly different as well. So there are a few cosmetic differences, um, you know, you can see there from the, uh, how do you wake this up there? Has it turned on? Oh, it's still on. So let's have a quick look guys at the new device. Let's zoom up a little for you guys. I want to go into the settings really. So this is the stock OS that you get, but you will get in uh, when you buy it out of the box, guys. No game, let's have a look. That's RetroArc. Settings, this is what we want to have a look at, right? Try and get that light out of the way for you guys. There you go. So you got see you got lock screen, brightness, I/O test, date and time, 
start retro arc bluetooth settings and so on you can see all the settings there quite a few settings firmware version you can see there that's the current firmware version you can shut down or reboot battery level voltage so you got quite a few settings there guys let's see what games we've got on here games external card so these are what on the external card uh, PSP game it says what they put on for us Pac-Man Street Fighter Terminator okay vertical arcade nice nice so they've got vertical arcade games on there what else do they have quite a few Mega Drive I want to play what I always play bash some Sonic Gotta be Sonic one. I'm zooming in for you guys. You can see it looks very crisp, but very crisp indeed. The screen on that really nice. Very nice indeed. And the colours are crisp, guys. Let me know what you think about the colours on that. Certainly look better than the uh, first one. Okay, let's exit out of that. I believe it's that button. Exit game. There you go. What else do we have? So we can check out some PSP, I guess. Street Fighter. Quickly go into the arcade mode here. You can pull the moves up really nice on this. You can do Hadoukens quite easily. Excuse me, moving around too much. I wanted that high Yukin in there, sorry about that guys. Anyway, that is PSP. That was pretty uh, nice, actually, to play. Let's try and exit out of this. There you go. So that runs really well. Let's see what else we have on here. Let's come out of here. Let's see if we can go to the built-in transflash, what they've got on there. So they got some games on the internal as well. Pac-Man Tekken. Let's have a look at Tekken. And PSP.
quickly want to get into the game. Oh, I don't know what I chose there. Sorry, guys. Probably need some settings being done on here to speed it up. Let's have a look. Probably can speed it up with some settings. So it's on 1.1 1 .1 full screen, that's fine. Frame skipping, number of frames, auto frame skip. So let's try and bump it up to two. Open GL, no Vulcan. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into this while it's skipping. I'm pretty sure it's a setting. So that's that, guys. Uh, I'll need to ask him for the settings, uh, if there's any better settings to make that one smoother. So that was Tekken 6, quite a demanding game. What else do we have on uh, the internal card? Pretty much what else we had on the other one. So that is it guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've done a comparison of the old 35XX, you can see there, and this is the new 35XX Plus. It's got a powerful chip in it. I'm pretty sure we're going to get uh, Garlic OS on this, like we did on this one. This is actually Batasira I'm running on here, which is a cool uh, build up on that one. But this is the old stock ROM. Pretty sure very quickly there'll be a few OSs to download, but I think it's an impressive bit of kit. Uh, it's got the same portability as the old one. You can remove the battery, powerful processor, better economics on the shoulder buttons. That's what we noticed. Slight difference in the volume button there. Uh, we've already mentioned the removable battery um, and having that faster processor in there now. We can probably get some decent emulation going on here. Let me know in the video, guys, what you think. Uh, what do you think of the black transparent? If you prefer that one, this is the uh, purple, but only in the 35XX. Uh, which color do you like? Um, you know, if you want me to test some games on my next video of this, let me know what game you'd like me to test. Uh, this was just a quick unboxing because I literally just got this today to get the video out. And if you haven't already, uh, I do urge you once again, guys, get it while it's on sale right now because they could pull that price. I'll, I've been told the price should have come off by now. Uh, so I'll put a link in the video to the direct link. So let me know, guys. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, and we will see you soon.